All right. It is getting close to Crybaby Week on ARCA as we head to USA Dirt. It's the week where uh, a few days beforehand and then all through the week, everyone comes out of the woodwork saying, this is impossible. We can't drive this. This isn't fun. Um, some reason, people like me who suck at road courses, we don't create thousands of threads showing that we don't like the road courses. Um, as the self-appointed schedule moderator, I've been trying to get dirt and road to rotate so that we only do two of them a year. Um, and we have set up votes after votes after votes, and the community wants dirt on the schedule, because that's what ARCA is. ARCA runs everything. So, let's go do some actual racing, driving, and uh, figure out how to get around here, because I haven't done a lap, because I don't practice. First of all, if you're going to practice, um, Lakeland Dirt is the name of the setup. Uh, you can change the steering ratio all you want. I'm sure that a quicker ratio will help. But the biggest thing people get wrong on dirt uh, coming from pavement is go to your F9 and take that force feedback all the way down to like four, four and a half. The more you're fighting the wheel, the slower your adjustments are going to be. And, uh, yeah, you're just going to have issues. Next one. Full throttle is not a thing. It can be for a lap or two, um, but you are going to struggle. And then we are on a very long straightaway. Because when I suggested Lanier, the crybaby said, well, that'll be too much of a mess because people will be wrecking. Yet the paved tracks work just fine on Lanier. So, here's what we're going to do into it, bring the throttle up, yeah, this sucks, just like Knoxville, it just pitches to the right after a second, alright, maybe I need to add some force feedback, maybe I just need to drive harder, alright, we're gonna go up to six on the force feedback, give this a shot. It doesn't help that iRacing fix setups absolutely blow most of the time. And I'm guessing that the oval guy just did this rather than getting any of their dirt people to make the setup. Alright, a little bit of force feedback helped. Lots of wheel input down the straightaway, and then I don't use the brakes. The brakes just shove the nose. We learned that at Knoxville. the throttle to get it to turn. No, too much turn. Oh, I suck. I knew this track was not going to be good. We need bigger sweeping turns, but... what it is. Okay. Feeling more comfortable now. We'll be at the back at the start of the race. Now, next thing you're going to get is, well, you can wall ride. If someone's going to wall ride and gain an advantage, that's a slam dunk instant protest. You send in a clip of that, and they're banned. 
if people want to risk that, people want to risk getting banned by wall riding at the dirt track week on ARCA. Um, yeah, I mean, they came out and said it at Knoxville. Then they said they had it fixed. And they clearly did not do it good enough because when you hit the wall on a uh, paved track, it slows you down. When you hit the wall on a dirt track, for some reason, it all of a sudden gives you massive grip. So, I assume it's just because you have less grip. So yeah, fourth gear, keep the RPMs nice and low. We're getting quicker. You can full throttle it, like I said, but you're not going to go any faster. And we just lose it. I'm going to spin out in this race over and over. You know what? I'm not going to restart. I'm going to just keep on going because we didn't hit anything. So, yeah, wear is not really a thing. Um you have to worry about is tire heat. So as you're spinning the tires up, now I'm just, I just can't fucking drive. Um, as you're spinning the tires up, you're adding heat, which is eventually going to just make it not rip up and have more tire spinning. But rather than just gassing it up, I brought it off. Let's see if we can even run the low line. It's just such a tight corner, it's pretty impossible to hit the low line here. Or I'm just really overdriving it. It's going to be a tough race. It's 35 laps, I believe. A5 Championship is going to the paved version for 200 laps so that we can have tire strategy and less cautions. Plus, their racing on long races is so broken because the track changes so quickly in this game. Alright, we've got settled down, but we're just going to have to really concentrate on not pitching the car too much, because it is very, very bad when it gets a little sideways, and I cannot, cannot at all save it. But I'm feeling like 6.0 on the force feedback is enough to give me some feedback while not slowing down my inputs. But it's going to be a tough, tough combo. I mean, it's a tough combo in real life, but they're on a mile track, so they've got a little less aggressive turn in. Although they can uh, still wreck them pretty good by having a car stopped on the start finish line. Lots of counter steer there to save it. Now, there you go. That is Arca on dirt. Nothing's changed. Um, nothing is different than what I said at Knoxville. Just drive it don't spin the wheels up. It's a longer straightaway, so you're going to be doing a lot more driving on the straight than in the corner. But, uh, yeah, hopefully everyone has a good time. And uh, if you don't like dirt, don't show up the week, just like the people that 
don't like road courses don't show up or don't like super speedways don't show up or don't like short tracks that don't show up. ARCA is a series that runs everything. And, uh, yeah, it's a good place to learn when you've got Cup going to tons of road courses and dirt track, and trucks at two different dirt tracks. Um, so, it's what the community wants. I would have rather have had just two dirt races a year, but we will suffer through the four a year and let everyone throw a fit in the forums. So, um, yeah, good luck. And uh, I, I wouldn't count these laps as quick, but that's about what I'm going to run for my pace is that 29.9, 30.0s. And uh, eventually people are either going to hit the wall and wreck themselves out, spin out, or be slow at the end. I mean, if you remember Knoxville, Joe was just flying up to me because he didn't have any heat in his tires and was just catching me like crazy. So, um, yeah. Good luck this week, and uh, hopefully everyone has fun with it, that attempts to have fun with it and drive it realistically. <laughs>